Team Exercise 20 Zip Zap Boing In this exercise the team will form a circle at equal distances from each other. The team will pass a zip to each other. Explain the team they can pass on the zip by looking at someone in the circle, stretch their arms in the same direction and loudly say zip. The one that has received the zip now passes it on to the next person in the circle. This person stretches his arms directly to the participant he wants to pass it on to and says zip again to give someone else the turn. It's important that everyone pays close attention so that no one unknowingly gets the turn and slows down the exercise. Let the team practice until they can zip smoothly. When the team is ready you introduce the new rule, zap. When the turn gets passed on to someone directly next to the participant, they don't say zip, but they say zap to their neighbor instead. Let the team practice with the new rule of zap. When everyone in the circle has passed on the zip and the zap a couple of minutes, you bring a new rule to the exercise. The new rule is boing. When you get a zip or zap, you can now return it to the same person from whom you got it by saying boing and crossing your arms in front of your body. It's not possible to boing someone else's boing. This will count as a mistake. Let the team get used to the new rule. Let them play until they are well acquainted with the rules of zip, zap and boing. When the team is ready, a real match can be played. Everyone has two lives. When a participant makes a mistake, he will lose one life. When someone has made two mistakes, he has to sit down and the remaining participants will continue to play. During a match, the speed of the exercise will be significantly higher. The faster the game is played, the more difficult it gets to pass on a zip, zap or boy. When someone takes too long to think on what to do during his turn, he will also lose a life. And when someone says something no one can understand, like zip up, he will also lose a life. Here the first mistake is made. The participant reflected the zap with another zap instead of a boy. He now loses one of his two lives. The game continues. Another mistake is made here. The person used boing on another boing instead of passing the turn on to someone else. He loses one life. Now someone makes another mistake. The person passed on the turn to his direct neighbor using zip instead of zap. He lost his second life and has to sit down. The person that sits will now be skipped as far as the game is concerned. For some this means that zap will be passed on to the one next to the one that's sitting. The match will be played until there are only three people left. The trainer guides the team and brings variations to the exercise. What kind of variations you can read below this video on YouTube. And please subscribe to our channel to see a new team exercise each Sunday on youtube.com slash team exercises to improve cooperation and communication.